Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. Another quick hitter edition, and we are going back up to the Great White North. More raids, uh, more craziness, uh, more insanity going on up in Quebec. Last week on the heels of the Greg Woolley murder um, a couple weeks ago and all of these rumors flying about uh, this latest chapter in the this biblical Canadian mafia war that's been ro- uh, uh, raging on in different facets uh, the last decade and a half. Uh, it, it looks like there's a real flare up right now and a divide between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob. However, this raid that went down last week across Quebec uh, by uh, Montreal police um, is tied to the activity when those two groups were working uh, very close together, uh, like they had been for the previous 30 years, things uh, seem to have gone uh, in a in a downward direction. Uh, it looks like that relationship is almost in tatters right now, um, if not in practice, in theory. Uh, and the the raids that took place last week in Quebec were related to three cold case homicides that uh, police are tying into joint activity between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob, uh, cold case uh, homicides of three unintended victims, three uh, people that were uh, accidentally murdered in hits that were being carried out on behalf of uh, rackets that were being done in tandem between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob. Um, some big names, uh, their houses were hit last week. Uh, starting with uh, uh, Baldi Barbario, da- da- Davide Baldi Barbario, who I'm told is a real X factor in this whole thing, um, could be the street boss of the Montreal mob right now. Uh, there were rumors that you know he was aligned with Chit Del Basso and the Hell's Angels when they tried to take out Leonardo Rizzuto earlier this year. Um, his his house was uh, raided. Uh, he used to be a uh, top lieutenant of uh, Ponytail DeVito, who 10 years ago was poisoned in prison. Barbario allegedly uh, took over rackets that had been run by the Rizzuto's uh, big rival, Andros, uh, Andrew Scapa, uh, who was trying to kill the Rizzuto's and was part of this insurgence that took place in the Rizzuto uh, mob empire after Leonardo's dad, uh, Vito, the godfather, went to prison. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, a lot of, like I've said before, a, a, a more uh, questions and answers at this point, even though we're almost 15 years in. Uh, another name that uh, came up in last week's raids, Pietro Diadamo, uh, had been a uh, top lieutenant of Sauce uh, Solicito, former uh, capo boss. He was slain in 2016. Adamo is supposed to be the... Uh, Rizzuto mobs liaison to the to the Irish mob, the, the West End gang in Montreal. And then uh interesting, one of Greg Woolley's top guys, uh John Philippe Celestine, the, the butcher of St. Laurent Boulevard, as uh, Woolley had nicknamed him. He, he's a, a leader of the K crew, uh, an enforcement gang that worked for uh Woolley as well as um the Hells Angels and the Italians. So Again, uh, it's interesting that the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob appear to be at odds right now, but there are investigations that are active going on in real time uh, looking into murders that took place when they were working together back in the 2010s. Um, Last thing I will say on this is that Marty Robert, who seems to be the straw that stirs the drink right now in Montreal, the guy that's uh, the leader of the Montreal Hells Angels, uh, has his eyes on becoming the boss of all bosses in the Canadian underworld is what uh, we are being told uh, wants to uh, take over, wants the hell's angels to, to become a top dog and have everyone, you know, underneath their umbrella, as opposed to uh, for, for, it it seems like from time immemorial, it was the uh, Italians or the Sicilians uh, were on top and the hell's angels and uh, the, the Irish and the street gangs were all subservient to them. Marty Robert wants to flip the script on this. Um, he his house, I guess, has been um, 
approached by law enforcement on, on a number of occasions over the, uh, uh, the last couple of weeks, and he is out of town um, vacationing, I'm told, uh, with his family um, in the United States. So I don't know uh, what how it plays those raids play into Marty Robert, but you know that um, the police in Montreal, as well as the uh, RCMP, are focused on Marty Robert as kind of the head of the snake in all of this unrest over the last 18 months, which is part and parcel of the unrest that's been going on for the last uh, decade, decade and a half. So I will keep you updated with everything that's going on, but uh, raids uh, at multiple locations in Montreal tied to cold case murder uh, homicide probes um, from, from innocent bystanders that were killed in the 2010s. Uh, I will bring it back up to Montreal when we have more information. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out.